welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining. And if you enjoy watching luxury content, um, designer items, unboxings, and um, luxury experiences, please go ahead and subscribe. It would mean so much to me. Um, for any of you who are returning, thank you so much for coming back um, and watching this video today. So yesterday I went shopping with my daughter. We had such a fun mommy daughter shopping day and that means a lot for me to say because my daughter's currently three and a half so it could kind of go either way she's got these hands right now that go everywhere so um i was not hesitant to bring her at all we it, it was a nice day to have but uh at the same time it's not always the easiest and sometimes when i just want to go and have conversations with sales associates and enjoy myself it's easier for me to ask my husband to do something with her but um, we woke up yesterday, she was in a great mood. I asked her if she wanted to go shopping with mommy. She said, yes, I was like, fun. So we took the drive down to Highland Park Villages. So if you're familiar with the DFW area, Highland Park Villages is a beautiful, um, just arrangement of stores and restaurants and all high-end uh, luxury stores. So you have Hermes, Fendi, Chanel, Saint Laurent, um, Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Cartier, Rolex. Like, I mean, that is, it is upscale to the max. I think you need to go there, or at least I need to go there with something in mind and just focus because um, it, it's just not one of those places I have the financial ability to just walk around and buy whatever I please when I go down there. So um, it's more of having something in mind and having an idea and um, going and checking it out. Now, the thing I will say about shopping in person, which is something that, you know, first of all, I'm fortunate. Um, Highland Park Villages is only about 35 minutes away from my house. So it's really not too much of a trek for me to get there. Um, and is definitely worth going in person. But I think since since moving here, since having access to those stores, and I mean, it's not that I didn't, um, you know, I moved from New York, so I did have access to those stores, but I was outside of the city. Um, and a lot of them weren't all in one place together. And I was just very much an online shopper for a very long time. And one of, let's just say my new year's resolutions for 2023. So I was like, you know, I have to get in person and go to these stores since it's so available to me because it's not just about the products, it's about the experiences. And you really get a, a wonderful experience when you go shopping um, in one of these stores. They really have wonderful sales associates, very helpful. And the other thing I will would say is it's not as intimidating as you might think it is or believe it to be. Um, like I said, I'm not someone who could just go in there and buy whatever I please on a, on a daily basis. Um, so it's just, you, you go in there, you talk to them, you be completely upfront with what you're looking for. Um, and, and you know, what you're looking to get out of that visit that day. And I mean, they're so great. They work with you so well. Um, so I wanted to tell you about my experience at Fendi. I wanted to show you and do my unboxing today of, um, my, a new pair of sunglasses that I had purchased. But let me say this, so why I was just building that up too, is I go into the Fendi store, um, I told them there was a certain pair of sunglasses, the Fendi Way sunglasses, um, and I actually came across these from another YouTuber, YouTuber um, Brittany with, I think it's Decor and Designers. I'll link her channel below. Um, I love some of her videos. So I was watching um, when she got the Fendi Way sunglasses. And these sunglasses, I'll show you, are a little bit more out there for me. I typically, um, you know, wear oversized. Um, honestly, I wear a lot of tortoise and I might have like one or two pairs of black sunglasses that I don't reach for as much. Also, the things with sunglasses with me, I don't typically spend a lot of money on sunglasses every once in a while. I have a pair of Chloe sunglasses that I bought in Manhattan, I want to say around 2009 maybe um and i think that's the last pair of like designer sunglasses i, I shouldn't have done this they're designer sunglasses that i had purchased um i typically i do buy a lot of not a lot probably one pair of ray-bans a year um they're my go-to i feel like they hold up really well they have classic styles and then other than that if i wanted something a little bit more different 
I, I look a lot on Amazon as well. I feel like with sunglasses too, I throw them in the car. Sometimes I keep them in the cup holder or with my daughter. Um, she's asking to grab my glasses or we're throwing them here and there. And it, it just doesn't make sense to have too many expensive pairs because of the way that I, I treat them. So with my Chloe ones, I don't wear them out all of all that often. And to be honest with that pair, they tend to steam up a little bit. I think it's with the shape and the size. So they're not my favorite pair of glasses either, um, which I think probably leans into why I don't normally spend that much money on glasses because I did. And then they're still not one of the ones I grab for on a day-to-day -day basis. I digress. So um, I saw Brittany pull out these sunglasses and they're more trendy, the size of them. I typically wear oversized right now. You know, a lot of that early 2000s um, vibe and style is in, so they're a little bit smaller. Um, they have a cutout in the, um, in, in, the, in the lens, which I'll show you. And I absolutely love them when I saw her wear them. I thought they looked so great, so cool, so trendy, but also not too trendy where you couldn't wear them for years to come. Um, I thought it would be a good balance of bringing something into my accessories that was a little bit more like on point for the moment, but that I also enjoyed. Like I wasn't just buying it because it was it's stylish at the moment. It's because I really thought they were cool looking. Now here's the thing. I thought they might be a little too cool for me. Um, so I, and I say that more in just like my fashion and my style. I wasn't sure if the style of these glasses fit my everyday attire. So I really wanted to get into the store to be able to try them on to determine um, if I wanted to buy them or not. Well, they came home with me. So it turns out I didn't want to buy them and I'll unbox them with you here. Um, and I'll try them on for you. But also I just want to say again to shopping in store. So my daughter and I were in there. I told them this is what I was looking at. I also said that I love the Fendi Griffey bag. So if they had any to pull out for me, I'd love to see them. But I also was not in the position to buy that bag that day. So I just, I just straight out told her like, look, I'm not, I'm not buying a bag today. Um, I'm looking at the sunglasses if they work for me. Um, I'd love to get those, but um, we just love to see the bags. And actually I'll include in this video um, a, a photo of the bags that I looked at. They were beautiful and um, I'll do a short clip on those as well. But anyway, so when I was checking out, she has this bag and she's got a bouquet of flowers in the bag. And she goes, it was our Valentine's event. So we have some bouquets. So I wanted to, to give one of them to you. How, again, just the experience of going in store, being, to look, being able to look, to see the quality in person, to try them on. I know it's so easy to do returns and exchanges online, but that is just something I'm, I've decided I'm not going to be doing this year. If I want something, and, and by the way, I don't blame you if you do, especially if you don't have easy access to a store. It is what I have always done. Um, even with Highland Park Villages being 35 minutes away, it's still 35 minutes away. It's not like right up the block. So, you know, I know it's just quick and easy to be able to place an order online, but just for myself, I'm not doing it. I like the experience. I like being out shopping. I like having conversations with sales associates. I like talking about the brand and the products and what's upcoming and what styles are, you know, hot at the moment. And it just makes all the difference to me. I'm just starting to realize how much I enjoy doing that. So that is something that you will see much more of um, if you continue to watch my videos here. So let's just get into it and let's try on these sunglasses. Um, so here we have... Look at it. Nice. I love, I love the packaging here. Again, I think she gave me such a big bag because she threw the flowers in and I just, so sweet. My receipt in an envelope. And then here is the box. I'm so excited. They have these actually in a couple of different colors and they have the tortoise. And she's like, would you like to try them on? And I was like, you know what? No, I, maybe I should have, maybe I should have, but I have so many tortoise ones and I just love the look of these black ones. Um, and like I said, I really liked having them on. So when I open the box, you have the Fendi card in here. I'm guessing this is an authenticity card. Let me see. Can't get it out. Authenticity card. To clean off your glasses with smudges 
and a booklet. And then look at this fun pouch. Here we go. It's got the clip, so you can clip it on to the inside of your bag. That actually, that's super convenient for me, um, especially when I use some of my larger tote bags. And like if I'm traveling, um, I use my Louis Vuitton Neverfull a lot. So to be able to clip this on the inside so I know exactly where my sunglasses are when trying to dig through a huge bag, that I, I really like that. So here they are. Look at these guys. I love them. So they have plastic around the, the arms of the glasses here. You can see, I also love this little detail of the F in the white at, um, right at the back of the ears there. I think that's so nice. Um, you can see Fendi printed on the side here, also on the inside. And then see, so it, you probably get a sense. These are a little bit smaller. These are a little bit more, like I said, I, I've seen, I feel like this style more in like Hailey Bieber and Kendall. Kendall Jenner and um, some celebrities that are in their 20s and, you know, just wear really, really stylish um, clothing. Oh, I also, a little thing to note too. So the white that's on the, the tips right here, it's also lined, you probably can't see it, but it's lined on the side of the cutout of the lens here, which I think is really just neat little, little addition. But anyways, I'll try them on for you. You can tell me if you like them. I do not have the camera facing me. So be honest. Um, I think I have 30 days to return. So if you really think they just look crazy, um, tell me. Because I, I don't think I'm, I think I like them too much anyways. But I'd love your opinion also. So what do we think? <laughs> I think they're super cool. I think they're fun. Um, they're really, really comfortable on, um, a lot of glasses. I have been blessed with long eyelashes, which, uh, thank you mom. <laughs> but, um, when I blink, I, my eyelashes do tend to get caught, especially when I have eye makeup like mascara on, which I do today. So, um, blinking my eyes, I'm not having any issues. So that is fantastic. And I just, I, I think it's really cool, but in an understated way, in a not too in your face, um, design or something that looks, I know a lot of the glasses that I've seen and the sunglasses that I've seen look very, very, um, I don't know what the right or what the current fashion term is it, but they all, almost look like a little like futuristic um, in, in their shape and their style. And I think these kind of border on that while still being super wearable and super cool. Um, so would love your guys' opinions or your thoughts. Um, if you think it's a cool style, I know they sell these at the Fendi store. I've seen them online at Solstice. I think I've seen them, um, you know, at some department stores, websites too. Um, so they're definitely pretty accessible. And I think they're just a great pair of black sunglasses. Um, like I said, I didn't end up trying on the tortoise pair because I have so many pairs of tortoise sunglasses, but I don't know. I wonder if I should just to have seen, but I think these make a better pair of black sunglasses for me. Um, but would love to hear your thoughts. If you have any questions, um, please add them in the comments below. I always love to hear, um, you know, your thoughts as well as sunglasses that you might be looking at right now. Like I said, I got the, the idea for these from another YouTuber who had gotten them and, um, love to just be exposed to, to what you guys have in mind and what you're looking at at the moment too. So, um, great chatting with you all today. And like I said earlier, if this kind of content is something that you enjoy watching, please go ahead and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys soon.